Yo guys, what's up? So this is probably the first video in a very long time where we have natural light. I'm literally sitting right in front of the window for you guys. Um, for one, because I cleaned my room so I can actually go over here for once. My closet has, this is the first time it's been closed in probably over three years. And this is where the door normally sits, so now we can sit where the door used to be. I don't know, we're, what I'm trying to say is we got uh, natural light. Also. I'm filming during the day, which normally if I would film over here on normal time, it would be pitch black, so there would be no point. But it is 3.43. It's very impressive for me, honestly. So, I don't know exactly what this video is going to be about. I mean, for, well, okay, now I can't talk. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, if I have, like, a tiredy voice, I don't know if I sound tired or not, but I feel like I do. Um, it's because I actually went to sleep at a good time last night, which sounds weird because in my last video I said I fixed my schedule, which I did, but Sims 4 got to me. I started playing Sims 4 once again. I started playing it after my Yuna streams, which is normally around, like, midnight, something like that, and I don't stop playing until around 10 a.m. It's fucking ridiculous. So that kind of destroyed my life for a little bit for about two days straight, um, every single night, I guess two nights straight. It's a lot of fun, but it's weird. It's like one of those games that it's so addicting. Like I'm playing and I look at the clock, it's like 7 a.m. I am truly enjoying it, but it's like I'm so fucking tired I could easily go to sleep, but in my mind I'm like, oh, I gotta, there's a few more things I could do to the house. I could, I could get my, this sim to fuck some bitches and then get some money and build some more stuff. And it's like, just, <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. It's like this thing where, I don't know, I just can't stop. And then I eventually stop, go to sleep, wake up, stream, go play Sims, go to sleep. And not anymore. I fix that. Ah, boy. So for the past, maybe say two years, I really haven't been caring for my looks. And even, I still don't. But that being said, like a few years ago, I used to straighten my hair and I wouldn't go anywhere without getting ready, you know, spending hours on my hair. And then if it doesn't still look good, I won't go out. All that weird thing. So, um, or all those weird things. And I just, a few years, well, maybe like a year or two ago, I just stopped doing that and stopped caring about that that hard to where like, if I didn't get ready by straightening my hair, I wouldn't go out. I don't do that anymore. Um, but in 2018... I'm gonna change that a little bit. You know, I'm still not going to like, I probably won't straighten my hair, but I'm gonna make sure that I look good so I can feel good because when you're wearing something that you, you look good in or you think you look good in, you're gonna feel extra good and be more confident. Not that I'm lacking in confidence. Well, I kind of am sometimes, but you know, it's not that bad. And uh, if I just start wearing like good stuff that I enjoy, this is everywhere, guys. I'm so fucking sorry. I haven't bought new clothes in probably two years as well or something like that. I mean, I'll buy a shirt every once in a while, but that's it. That's because I like to shop online and I'll, I'll throw some things in my cart and I'll really like them, but then I'll be like, what if they don't fit? Can I really pull off this new style? Blah, blah, blah. I have stuff in my cart from so long ago and just like last night, I put some new stuff in my cart from a shop called Topman. I don't know if you guys ever shopped there before. I know there's one in California. I don't know where else they are, but I bought some stuff there and I really fucking love the clothes and I knew which size to wear because I still have that shirt. So I went to go check it out. They're expensive a little bit, not gonna lie. They're a little expensive. And I put like maybe seven things in my cart and it ended up being $400 even. So I was like, mm, okay, well let's go ahead and take some stuff out that I really don't need. Um, and it's still going to be a little expensive, but I think that I'm going to let myself do it because I haven't once again bought clothes in forever. So I think I'm going to do it and, and it'll, it'll look really cool. I'll feel good. What I'm trying to say, the point of this is, is that by the end of this year, I'm going to look fucking fly, boys. <laughs> you know, I'm going to look good. Um, I'm actually going to work on my style this year and, and figure out exactly what I want to look like and wear. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do by the end of this year. And I'm going to be starting out soon. So... That's that. I'm gonna become, yo, so I'm like, I'm a boy right now, alright? I'm a fucking boy. By the end of this year, I'm gonna be a motherfucking man. For one, I'm gonna be 20. <laughs> I'm gonna be 20 this year, and I'm not saying that in a thing, like, where I'm scared. I'm fucking excited to be, an, like, an, an adult. I've been an adult since 18, but still, fucking 20, that's a dope-ass age. I'm excited. I'm not scared. I'm excited to be moving out and stuff like that. Hopefully, I can do that, and I'm excited to be turning 20 and next 21 so I can get a fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't I don't promote that kind of stuff, but if, if that's what you want to do, you can do it. And when I turn 21, it's legal, so I, I'm gonna I'm a do it, I guess, probably. Ugh. Fuck. Ugh. Ugh. I go through this weird phase sometimes where, like, I check out super luxurious stuff, but I never really go for it. But just earlier, I was looking up, like, some fucking legitimate, like, gold chains and shit. I ain't gonna buy one. 
But, I mean, it looks cool, because I think I'm gonna buy this turtleneck from Top Man. It looks pretty fucking dope. I think I could look cool. And it would look really cool with the, with the gold chain, but, I mean, I just, I don't know. Maybe by the end of the fucking year I'll be able to pull it off, but just right now, I'm, I'm a boy. And, uh, that's not something I wanna try. That's not something I wanna reach out to do too much. And, and that's another thing, like, I don't wanna feel like I'm trying to, like, flex. Dude, I'm fucking struggling. I make less every single day than someone who works at McDonald's, okay? I, I'm not over here trying to flex, but, you know, I, I think, uh, sometimes I wanna treat myself, and that's where that kinda comes from, but I'm not gonna buy a gold chain. If anything, I'll buy a gold choker, boys. <laughs> but I've been looking at some vans as well, like, some new sneaks. There's, like, some leather ones. I, I am trying to get, like, luxurious stuff, but not, like, you know, crazy ass shit that costs thousands and thousands of dollars for like a, a t-shirt you know what i mean not yet at least and i don't think i'll ever do that but i ain't doing it right now um i'll spend a little bit of extra money on multiple clothes but not like i wouldn't even spend fucking 400 dollars on one shirt while people will go to like gucci and spend a thousand dollars on a sweatshirt you know and that's fine i'm not i'm not blaming you like i'm just saying that's not me like i'm i'm not gonna do that at least not right now i don't think i'm ever gonna do it but i'm just saying that just in case i i turn up with a fucking gucci sweater and and I don't have to look back at this video and be like, oh, well, you know, just not at this moment. So, uh, and I don't think I will. But, you know, and I, I don't care for people who, I mean, like, I don't care if you do that. If you do that, that's your own choice. I'm just saying, me personally, I'm not going to spend a thousand bucks on a Gucci sweater at this moment. Um, but I will spend like 400 bucks or something like that. I mean, probably not even, maybe 200 bucks on um, a bunch of clothes at once because I don't ever do shopping where like every month I go out and buy some clothes. I haven't bought new clothes in like two years, like I said. So I will probably spend a little bit extra because I haven't done it in forever. So I'm gonna look good. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, boys. I don't know today. If you're missing out on my streams, you're literally missing out on my streams <laughs> and missing out on a lot. I stream every single day, 9 p.m. Eastern time, and every single stream is different. You know, the same, the thing that happened yesterday is not going to happen again tonight. You know what I mean? It's completely different because it's live. And I, I don't want to try to keep, feel like I'm promoting this to you guys, like pushing you, like go fucking watch it, you idiots. But I mean, I really enjoy my streams so much. I've been focusing so much of my time on my streams to make sure that they're fucking dope. And honestly, guys, they're, they're one of the best on you now. And I, I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not putting myself above people. But the amount of stuff that I'm doing, there's like something sharp in my shirt. The amount of stuff that I'm doing on you now. Uh, it's just something that uh, no one else is doing that I see, you know, I'm using OBS, I'm putting up overlays, I'm using multiple cameras, I'm using a DSLR to stream, we got music, we got um, things that involve the chat um, that I haven't seen people do on, you know, and things like that. They're a lot of fucking fun. Um, I just added a new thing where you can donate, and when you donate, which is just a dollar or more, but literally the price of a gas station coffee before tax, you can do this thing, so, which is just a dollar. Um, it's media sharing where in the donation you can put this link in the link section with like you now or no sorry youtube links of either videos do people have been fucking killing it with the memes uh just music whatever you guys want to put um there's all this text to speech and it comes through the broadcast let me just show you guys a few clips from past broadcasts i i really think you guys will enjoy them i love my streams make sure to come and tune in we do snapchat call-ins now um which is where i open up my snapchat to everyone you guys add me and i plug it up to the stream and you guys can talk through the stream one-on-one -on -one with me so that's a lot of fun. Um, we do a bunch of stuff. Just check out these moments right here. Yellow? Oh my god! Hey, how's it going? You're the first one. Hi! Good, how are you? I'm doing great. By the way, when when you answered the call, it kind of sounded like you saw a spider. Because you didn't know that I was going to answer. And you said, oh my god. I just... <laughs> I don't know. It's Alright, that's something. Um, so, This year will be the best year. Like, hey! Brooke, thank you so much for the $1 donation. What was that? Here it is. Yellow Kyle Services. How are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> How are you doing? No! 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 no, no. <laughs> what do you mean? No! 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 Oh, no. What? <laughs> Maddie Rue, thank you so much. This is 10 out of 10, the best pop. All right, see what you got in store for us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow. Oh my god, hi. 
Hello there, this is Kyle's dad. <laughs> Why are you calling his phone? My lips are uh, are kind of chapped. My lips have been pretty chapped. I mean, it's snowy outside. That's why we got this like nice white light. It's, it's just snow mania out there, boys. It hasn't snowed in a few days, but it's just been so cold. It's literally, oh, it's 23 degrees right now, but last night it was zero. It's probably going to get down to zero degrees tonight. It's been fucked, so the snow's been staying here. But yeah, my lips are kind of chapped, so if I look kind of bad, I'm sorry. It's, uh, I'm using chapstick. I'm trying my best. It's, it's fucking, it's cold out there. It's nice to film during the day. It is very nice. Um, I think that I do have that kind of tiredy voice because normally I will stream and then make a YouTube video, which is late at night, but you know, I haven't talked at all today. This is the very first time that I talked. Um, so my voice is probably a little bit deeper than normal. Hello there. <laughs> I haven't talked all day, so here's my normal voice. <laughs> oh, fuck. But, you know, I don't know. My voice is typically a little bit higher than it seems to be. Maybe, maybe it's fucking not. Ow. Maybe when I, when I watch the video back, the mic will, will be picking up my voice just like normal. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm fucking drunk. I'm not, because I'm not 21 yet. I want to give a big thanks to anyone who's been tuning into my content and my videos, either if it's streams, just YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Uh, I want to give you guys a big fucking thanks. Like, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I enjoy. Um, so thank you guys. Like, I, I truly, dude, this is the happiest that I've been while making videos in a very fucking long time. All right. And I think that that shows through, you know, I, I've been truly putting all of my focus and effort into my videos and everything that I'm doing online and and you know it's it's not the most popular thing to tune into me right now which is fine but it, it just makes it um it makes me much more thankful for you guys when you guys do tune in so thank you guys for that um you know I'm not doing the clickbait shit I'm not like going after the trends I'm just making content that I truly enjoy and it it gives me a space to where like I can actually talk to people which sounds very fucking sad but thank you guys for being here um it gives me, you know, friends. It gives me family, which is fucking awesome, you know? If it wasn't for you guys, I would be sitting in silence. 21 Pilots, I know. Um, my whole entire fucking life, literally, like, just in this room, not talking to anybody. Because of you guys, I can sit you guys down here in this corner where my closet used to be. Well, my closet's still here, but the door. And just fucking talk to you guys about whatever I'm feeling and, and whatever's coming to mind. And it just, it, it's fucking so heartwarming to know that some of you guys are out there. Well, all of you guys that are watching are out there uh, supporting me doing this and hopefully enjoying the content, you know. We're gonna be doing a fuck ton of stuff this year in 2018. It's gonna be fucking nuts. Fuck, I've been saying fuck a lot, so let's get a few more fucks in there. Fuckity fuck. Uh, I'ma fuck some bitches. I'ma fuck it up. I'ma fuck some YouTube videos up. I'ma fucking stream. I'ma fuck a dog. I'm not gonna do what that last thing. Well, but what I'm trying to say here is just fucking thank you guys. Like, I, I love you guys so much, and I don't know. You guys mean so much more to me than you probably think. I'm making my own path here, you know? I know there's YouTubers out there who don't clickbait, but the majority of the big YouTubers out there do, and, and you know, make toxic content with like just tits in the thumbnail. Hey, look at my girlfriend's titties. Neat, right? Watch porn, you fucks. Don't go to like YouTube videos with clickbait tits, man. Sorry, trying to give out some lessons there. You know, that's like the normal thing to do. I'm taking my own path here by not doing that. If it looks like I'm reading a script, I'm looking at a window. This is what you can see in my glasses here, all right? So a lot of people think that I script stuff when I'm looking over here. I'm just looking off and around. Um, I'm taking my own path, and it's the, it's the longer path to my goals, but it's the longer lasting path as well, meaning it's going to take longer to reach my goals, but it's going to last much longer as I hit them. If I was a clickbait YouTuber who made toxic shit and just shitty content, but had a good title and people would tune in because they're like, oh, is this true? And then they find out it's not true and blah, blah, blah. Um, that stuff will work in the time being because you're dragging people in to click this video. But it's clickbait, so they're not satisfied with the content. Um, although there is some clickbait that I'm okay with when I'm actually satisfied with the video. Where it's clickbait, where it got you in there, but it's actually a good video overall. They didn't just fucking mislead you completely, so I'm okay with those. But clickbait where it doesn't happen and they're just not satisfied, they're never gonna come back, you know? And and that's that's the least lasting part of it, you know what I mean? Like, you're gonna fucking kill it, getting a lot of views, lots of subscribers, lots of, like, interactions, but they're never gonna come back, you know? Because it's shit content, and they're only there for the clickbait. So that's what I mean by, it takes longer for me to hit my goals like this, but my goals will last longer because people will stay around because it's actually the content they knew they were going into 
You know, there's some YouTubers that will use other people's names in the thumbnail and title of the video, like bigger YouTubers to, to get people in there. But once they make a video about themselves, just them in the title, them in the thumbnail, they won't come and tune into that. That's why, like, I'm happy with the views that I get. I'm so fucking happy because it's my own content and you guys know what you're in for when you tune in. That's why I'm happy with where I'm at. I truly am happy where I'm at. Um, if, if people who are doing clickbait YouTube um, had like my views and stuff like that, they would be upset because it's not what they want. You know, it's not like they're not blowing up over clickbait shit. Dude, everyone who's tuning into this video is here because they know what they're tuning into. Because of either past videos, they just know that it's not clickbait or, you know, they just want to tune in and see what I'm up to. That's why I fucking love you guys so much, you know? That's why I think you guys are the best fan base out there. Kai Force, like, you guys are, are the best, and I have so many facts to back it up, and I always say the facts just like I did right there, by you guys knowing what you're tuning into, but you still come and watch because you enjoy the content, not because I say in the title, hey, my titties are out, oh no, and in the thumbnail, just like me, like, blocking up my tits, like, ah, don't look! Fuck off. <laughs> but so far, guys, this year has been amazing. I wanted to say lit, but maybe we should leave that 2017. But, you know, I'll use it one last time. 2018 has been so lit so far. That sucked. I, t I'm so upset that I made that sentence. But this year has been great. You know, I've been very happy with this year so far. Um, it just has not let me down, which is which is great. And, and I'm not going to let myself down either. You know, if, if, if the year starts letting me down, I'm not going to let myself down. And I'm still going to fucking work hard towards my goals and try my best to reach them. Although I'm not going to be upset if I don't reach them. Oh, someone's car is pulling by. I like to people watch sometimes. I'm not going to be upset even if I don't reach my goals because deep down inside, I know that I tried. If I did try, and so far I have been trying. So I'm not going to be upset if I don't hit them because I tried my best and I'm sure no matter what, I will learn something from this year. Basically saying if I don't reach my goals, there will be things that I did reach by knowledge um, and just learning things in general, which is basically knowledge. But, you know... That's why I'm just going to be open-minded this year and try my best. And I, and I really am, you know. And I hope that you guys can tell. Um, spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just trying to keep this combo going here. This is another one of those videos where I just don't want to end, but it has been 19 minutes in the filming, so I think it's time to go, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit it today so I don't have to wake up early and edit it tomorrow. Well, I'm still going to wake up early, but, you know, I'm not going to have to start working on it right away. I can just post it when the time comes. So, I love you guys so much. Kai Force, thank you guys for everything. Please make sure to tune into my YouNow broadcast if you guys want to. I, I think you guys will truly enjoy it. It's, uh... YouTube and you now are my top favorite things that I do. So if you guys are missing out on you now, once again, you are just missing out on great content. Love you guys. Have a great night. Have a great day. Have a great morning. Have a great life overall. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Peace, guys. Have a good night, day, life, overall, happiness. Bye. Did that, did that outro twice. If you guys want to subscribe, you're more than welcome. If you guys want to click the two videos up on the screen, you're more than welcome as well. I think you guys will truly enjoy them. Thank you so much for sticking around and enjoying everything. If you guys watch me on YouNow, make sure to comment down below. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time, I am streaming on YouNow once again. I like every single night. Make sure to come and tune in.